Welcome to 60 FPS Assassin's Creed Odyssey on the PS5. This is the PS4 version of the game. So this is like Days Gone and Ghosts of Tsushima where the PS4 version had gotten updated to get the 60 FPS. The mercenary system in this game is absolutely just amazing. Your character is perfectly centered in the middle. The whole Greek mythology, the gladiator Spartan stuff. It's just absolutely amazing. And you can conquer territories. Like you can have it go back and forth right now. It's the Athenians. So you could do a conquest battle. Lower the nation's power to cause conquest battles. Mercenaries are rewarded with epic gear for joining the fray. Uh, like I said, the mercenary system is ongoing at all times. It never, never ends. And it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, so bear with me here. And we're going to do a little bit of gameplay. This was from one of the Come on. mercenaries I think I had defeated earlier. Hello. So I'll just roam around. I had recorded about a half hour of footage earlier, but there was a lot of cutscenes and all that. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to be doing cutscenes. I just want to show you some gameplay. I just want to get back into this. I used to play this game on the computer a lot uh, for the fact that it's always been 60 FPS if your computer could handle it. And mine could, but I had to turn down some, some graphics. Some graphical well settings, said. rather. Oh, hot tamale. Oh, and by the way, watch this. Watch how long it takes. What the hell happened there? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Wow. Holy. Dramatic. Seriously? How many fucking bears is there? Peta would be so happy with me right now. Hmm. You're gonna be fucking tonight's dinner. So you saw all of that. And look at what difficulty it's on. You're going to laugh so hard. Because I play on the hardest difficulty in Valhalla. Look at that. It's on the absolute easiest difficulty. Like, wow. Oh yeah, level scaling. I forgot about level scaling. Default. Content will be set according to the selected difficulty level. Heavy content... Ooh, we'll stay at your level. Medium content will fall up to two levels behind light. Content can fall up to four levels behind your level. Anyhow. So it's on the default, and yet you can see just how long it takes me to kill shit. Now let me go over here. And just kind of roam around. That's essentially what I wanted to do. A little bit of combat. A little bit of roaming around. So some of the things that I love about this game. It's, like I said, it's the setting, the time period, the character. You could be Alexios, or you could be his sister. Uh, Leonidas was her fucking dad, I think it was. You used his spear that you would upgrade. Your character is centered in the middle. None of this bullshit like Grand Theft Auto 
and a lot of other games where your character's a little bit off to the side. It's just so stupid. Oh, area not available. Oh, that's weird. Where am I? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And that drives me insane. That's why games like The Witcher 3, Zelda Breath of the Wild, they do that shit right. Because to me, there is no logical sense to have your character off to the side. It, it serves no purpose. I know why they do it, but it's a flawed system. It's so that your character doesn't block your view in front of you. I'm having no problem seeing what's going on in front of me. Apart from the fact that I just, you know, ran into a tree. But, you know, don't let that fuck you up. Ooh. I'm gonna have to play... ...with the, uh... ...the scaling settings and the difficulty later. Right now, I can't do that. Because I'm, like, in noob mode. I absolutely don't know what the hell I'm doing. There we go. The controls are a lot different than Valhalla, and I've been playing Valhalla quite a bit lately. Come on. Come on, come on. Because it was the only come on. Assassin's Creed that you could play that was 60 FPS. Listen here, Maricon. And see how it does the slight isometric view. So that way when you're, you know, because your character is centered. It doesn't get in the way. Because I, I do know what they mean by that. Having it a little bit centered, or off-centered rather. So that you can see in front of you better. Like, it's just absolutely beautiful. Ugh. God, I love this game. I haven't seen any mercenaries in the last couple of minutes, but they're out there. They just infinitely keep spawning. And it just makes the game so much fun. It's just, it's beyond what words can explain. Uh, he's defeated. Yeah, I still haven't finished this here. It's uh, part of the expansion, I believe. I kind of forget. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> it's a little bit off to the right. I don't know what this is, to be honest. I think it's to help with clues or something like that. Let me just turn around and go there. Just to see what I can find since it's so close. Haven't really had any performance issues. I say not really. I think I think I lost a frame like once in the last hour. I don't know what that was supposed to do. Either way, let's make our way to the destination. I'm so happy. It's amazing what that 60 FPS can do. I mean... The game was still very playable for me. Uh, you know, at 30. I still play games at 30. But it's just that whole thing where as if you can get it at 60. You just, you really appreciate it. 
and I'm not finding my PS5 is, you know, running any hotter or anything like that as a result. It's quite capable of managing it. So this one's got the level scaling, the New Game Plus. Uh, Valhalla can't really do New Game Plus in a way. I mean, it potentially could, but it's very complicated. I actually kind of understand... There we go. Fuck him. <laughs> I forget the skill that makes it that you can remove their shield. Whoa, 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 whoa. No curb stomp like in Valhalla. I love the curb stomp. But yeah, I really do like Valhalla. It's not like I want to trash it. It is a great game. It's just, to me... Oh, there we go. Mercenary. That's what that sound means. Oh, he's right there. There he is. He thought he'd get into the mix. Malaka. Leca colo sporgo filio di putano. Cazzo voi. Oh. Oh, you want some of this? Hard to believe it's on easy, eh? Come on. I don't know what the hell that was. Yeah, it's another mercenary. Ouch. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Calm the fuck down. You're making me look bad. No, oh man, I missed the curb stomp. Oh, another mercenary. Yeah, wait your turn. Line him up. Whoops, you missed. There we go. Oh. Almost died. Oh, I've got two mercenaries. Wow. Well, you're getting your money's worth now. Yeah, I'm going to die here. Holy shit. And that's what happens when you play the game on the easiest difficulty setting. You saw all those mercenaries just one after the other. And that's what makes this game incredible. That infinite replay value. I mean, you can look for trouble in Valhalla. Don't get me wrong. But to me, this is just on a different level. Anyhow. You saw the clusterfuck that got started with me assassinating that guy 
We all see how well that worked out. Stealth attack. There wasn't really anything stealthy about that, was there? Come here. Holy shit. Oh, there's that bitch that we gotta get. That's it. I should kick the shit out of... Oh, would you piss off? Everybody's trying to kick my ass now. They're, they're all chasing me down. Oh, shit! Is there seriously a guy attacking me with a fucking broom? Fuck the broom guy. There you go. Yeah, so please tell me how I can make this happen in Valhalla. Exactly. Come on.
Yeah, hide in the corner. That's gonna go well for you. Yeah, see, I could fucking shoot you too. Seriously? What do you got, a mind of your own? That was the guy that had my bounty. Now my bounty is cleared. So, as I was doing... Oh my god, are you serious? You ain't doing shit. Oh, you fucking asshole. There we go. Maybe. Oh, this guy's running away. Or this girl. Whatever. Whatever the fuck they want to call themselves. Seriously? You don't think I'll see you there? You're in the way. I was like, I hope I can still confirm the kill through the wood. A fitting feast for the gods. All right. Well, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, that was pretty effing dramatic. And again, that was on the easiest difficulty setting. Like, for real. Look at this bloodbath. I love it. So again, let me know how I can do this in Valhalla. And, uh... Exactly. I am just gonna look around a little bit. Gonna help myself to a couple of things. Actually, I should probably do this on my own. To be honest, I actually don't want to make this video too, too long because I'm also going to be uh, uploading it at 1440p, like a upscale, like a fake 1440p. And then what's that going to do is make it so it triggers the VP09 codec. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it here. And uh, that'll be it. Hopefully this was, you know, whatever. Semi-decent, uh, you know, video. Not really good at these. Playthroughs and stuff. Plus, they don't do well on my channel. Maybe that's why. But anyhow, I had fun. And that's pretty important. So if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help uh, support the channel with the algorithm. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead... Give it a thumbs down, and I'll make sure when you go to bed tonight, and you think you're dreaming, you'll end up being one of those people I took out. And uh, if you want to subscribe after all those wonderful things I said could happen to you, well, that would be great. Remember, that could be your fate right there. But that can be avoided. And there, I'll just make sure you disappear. He just disappeared. Was that a glitch? Anyhow, whatever. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.